Hi, it's Christy with Time to Profit. If you don't know me, what I do at Time to Profit is I help small business owners win more clients by helping them to create rock solid sales strategies and strengthen their sales skills because not only is sales a fundamental skill in terms of having a successful business and having a profitable business, and allowing you to have time to do the other things you wanna do in life, it is also a skill that when you master it will help you really master many other things in your life. Mastering sales is something that transcends way beyond business and will help you to increase your confidence in conversations, asking for what you want, trying new things, and so to me, sales is really a vehicle to a better life, both in our business and in our personal lives. But today, what I really wanna talk about is how you can, I think I might've put 10 minutes, but it's supposed to be 30 minutes a day, because some days are gonna take longer, how you can win more clients and get more clients in just 30 minutes a day. So the reason I wanna to talk to you about this is because sometimes, I find that clients really have this all or nothing mindset about sales. They either avoid it like I avoid mushrooms, which I hate, um, or they feel like they have to go all in and put all their energy and effort into sales. This often happens when revenue's tight, that client load is low, all of a sudden they're really hyper conscious about sales and like we gotta go out and we gotta sell, 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 network, network, network. And then all of a sudden they get busy again and it's like, okay, we're not doing any sales at all. And I'm gonna be honest, most business owners don't go all in on sales because it's a little bit more intimidating or it can be than marketing. But the good news is, is that you can create for your business a very simple, very effective sales strategy that you can execute in doing proactive sales in less than 30 minutes a day and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I wanna share why this is so important. So I, for years, have been trying to write more, not ride like a horse, I do have a horse, but write more. And I always have these big goals for myself. I'm gonna write for an hour a day. I'm gonna write, you know, 500 pages a week. And today I was sitting down and I was actually setting some goals for myself with writing, and it was 10 minutes on Wednesday, 10 minutes on Thursday, 10 minutes on Friday, I'm like, oh, if I do that, I will spend an hour writing every week, which might not seem like a lot, but compared to how much I've been doing it in the past, it's much more. And so this is the key about this tool that I'm gonna give you today in terms of creating a simple sales strategy that you can execute in your business in 30 minutes a day is it gives you the ability to go in, to do sales. A lot of days it's gonna be less than 30 minutes a day, and really start generating results so that you can maintain that consistency even when you get busy, when you have those clients, when you are busy serving those clients, you can still engage in those sales consistently so you don't end up with those big dips and lulls, which are really hard for business owners in terms of profitability. So are you ready to jump in and to learn how you can create your own simple sales strategy that you can execute in 30 minutes a day? Okay. We're gonna dive right in. I want you to take lots of notes on this because we're gonna go really quick through a lot of information. So the first thing that I want you to do is identify the five highest value sales activities for your business. Here's what I want you to see. When I say high value, I mean a good ROI. That means the time that you spend is reflected in the results that you get. This does not necessarily mean the easiest or the most fun or the most comfortable. Easiest isn't always the highest return, right? Commenting on people's social media posts, for example, might be really easy, but it might not be the highest value return for your efforts where you're actually proactively and intentionally creating sales conversations with people that you want to work with. So think about what those be might be. Here's some examples if you're not sure what I'm talking about. What is a sales activity? It might be stopping by a center of influence or a referral source and engaging with your referral source and asking for those refer referrals, generating those referrals, and developing that relationship. 
A high value sales activity might be going to a potential client or somebody's office that you want to work with in person, introducing yourself, getting to know members of their team, learning about how their office functions. It might be sending emails to potential clients. It might be following up on networking events that you attended to. It might be calling, picking up the phone, making cold calls, which I know people don't love, but it is a very high value activity oftentimes, right? It might be following up on previous phone calls. It might be sending direct mail to potential clients. So I really want you to think about this. I didn't um, write this down anywhere, but what I always think about is a well-balanced sales strategy has multiple avenues of contact. So a well-balanced sales strategy might incorporate phone, email, and in-person. It might incorporate text, direct mail, in person, right? You want to have different ways of engaging your prospects because not every potential client is going to respond to the same information the same way. And that's okay. That's why we have different ways to reach people. So once you identify what your five highest value activities are, I want you to basically set a goal for yourself to do one of those activities for a certain number of times every day of the week. So I have, for example, you can use just a really simple old school planning pad and write down, for example, on Monday, send five emails. On Tuesday, make five um, cold calls. On Wednesday, stop by in person to two different potential clients offices or attend one networking event, right? Engage in some in person conversations. On Thursday, I'm going to send five follow-up emails, and on Friday, I'm gonna send five, make five follow-up phone calls to people that I've met at networking events or had interest in email or who I left a voicemail for during the last interaction. So really, that's what you're gonna do. It's that simple. So here's some things that are gonna make your simple sales strategy much more effective, is I want you to think about this truly as a system. So. What I need you to do is think about three primary components. Every sales strategy has three primary components. Who you're talking to, what you're saying to the people that you're talking to, and how often and what avenues you're using to have those conversations. So who, what, how. You can even break it down if you wanna simplify it more, who, what, when, and how, right? So who you're talking to, what you're saying, when you're talking to them, that's the frequency part, how often, and then how, right? Are you engaging in phone conversations, in-person conversations, LinkedIn conversations? In more advanced sales system, and I want you to hear this, advanced doesn't mean better, it doesn't mean more effective, it just means more, right? There are some times where it might be more appropriate. You might have different components, different levels of messaging, different scripts for different types of outreach, different, kind of filters in terms of how you're doing your prospects. You don't need to make it that complicated, but in terms of the foundational pieces that you want before you execute this very simple sales strategy for 30 minutes a day, and I'm gonna spend the next month talking about each of these because there's four. So just if you wanna know what we're gonna be talking about on Tuesday for the next month, here is the preview. So the first thing I want you to do is identify up to 40 potential dream clients. So if you have that piece, the people you wanna work with, when you send emails and you have that contact information, you don't have to spend time thinking about who you wanna reach out to. You've done that in advance, that's gonna save you a ton of time. So we call this a prospect list if you're new to sales. Then I want you to draft three to four key messages on why your dream client should talk to you. What do they need to hear to be interested in having a conversation, right? And kind of underneath that, identify three key questions that you can use to engage your dream clients in conversation. So for each message, how do you bring about that message in a way that's conversational without just dumping a lot of information on them? So I will use an example. I just um, today had a meeting with Habitat for Humanity. I am on the fundraising committee for our local Central Oregon chapter. Such a phenomenal organization. Can't say enough good things about them. But right, one question, for example, when we talk about why Habitat is so important in the Bend community is that housing is very unaffordable in Bend and there are a lot of people who are really amazing people who can't stay in Bend because of the housing costs. 
And so one question to really pull that message through if we're looking to a business partner is something along the lines of, have you ever had a good employee who left because they couldn't afford housing to stay in bed? Right? So notice how if they say yes and they start thinking about that person, their level of engagement is very different than what I just told you that this is a problem. They get to see it for themselves. So for each of your key messages, you want to identify some really compelling questions that create conversations. And then using your key messages and using your questions, you want to create some scripts for each of those initial outreach strategies that we talked about. I told you this was going to be fast and furious, so I hope that you are taking good notes. You can go back and rewatch this, but remember, we talked about what are your five high value sales activities? Is it in-person conversations? Is it networking events? Is it referral sources? Is it sending out emails? Is it, it dropping by information directly to people's offices? Is it sending direct email, direct mail, right? Is it picking up the phone and calling? Is it using LinkedIn or another social media strategy very intentionally, not for marketing, but actually for sales? And so what you wanna do is think about of those five, um, what are the scripts? What are the things that you wanna be saying? Write that down in advance because that is gonna make it so much easier when you sit down and you say, this is my 30 minutes I'm gonna do sales on um, for Tuesday. I'm gonna make five phone calls today. I have my list of my people that I'm working towards calling and connecting with, and I have my script of what I wanna say and some questions I can ask to engage them. Now, I don't spend that 30 minutes having to spend time researching who should I be talking to and what should I be saying. I've done that in advance. These are foundational pieces that will make your life so much easier, right? And so then, you're gonna set your goal for every day of the week what sales activity are you going to engage with? Are you sending emails on Monday, phone calls on Tuesday, doing in-person on Wednesday, on Thursday you're doing follow-up emails and Friday follow-up calls, right? Make sure you have time for follow-up. That is so important. If you do all of this work but someone says send me information or you just send an email and they don't reply and you never follow up with them, you've wasted that time and energy. So you wanna have those scripts, super simple. I will talk about that in the coming 30 days in the next month, stay tuned. But you want scripts, so you have like, okay, I'm doing my follow-ups, this is what I'm saying. Choo, 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 dun, 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 check, 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 done, right? And I want you to do this. You need to do these activities consistently for at least 30 days. What's cool is if you have your 40 people, your 40 dream clients, and you do these activities consistently for 40 day, or 30 days, you will have gone through your list and contacted everybody at least once, probably twice if you're including follow-up like I am on mine, over that 30-day period. So you wanna be consistent. Here's the cool thing about consistency. A, you're gonna get more results. B, you're gonna get better at it. And C, you're gonna be more comfortable doing it. So the first week is going to be way harder than the last week. You've got to just stick with it. It's going to feel sticky and uncomfortable the first week. That's okay. Just sit down, go through, do it. Do it consistently. And then there's two other really important things here is I want you to take notes. I want you to pay attention. What piques pe people's curiosity? What's resonating? What's working? What isn't? Where do people drop off? When do they stop paying attention? And make tweaks to those scripts, make adjustments. And then next week when you sit down, you have a better script. A lot of sales in the initial stage is experimentation. It's learning what works. It's getting feedback from your customers. Sometimes things not working is a win because we get data on what is gonna work. So the goal here isn't always to have every single person set up a sales conversation with you or an appointment or move to the next phase of the sales conversation. Sometimes the learning is valuable in and of itself and there are more people on your list and it's gonna be messy sometimes before it's amazing. That's okay, that is part of the sales process, but stick with it. Make those adjustments, get better at your messaging, build your confidence, make it more resonant and you will start to see substantial results in the consistency of your client engagements. So here's what I want you to do. You've done your consistent work. 30 days, you're gonna sit down every day and you're gonna follow your list. I made my five phone calls. 
I think I just hit myself in the nose. Um, I made my phone five phone calls. I sent my five emails. I went and visited people in person. I did my follow-ups, did it. Here's one of the changes I made. Okay, next week, same thing. After 30 days, look at that initial list you had. Take notes on that list. Who was interested? Who was curious? Who was like never call me or just a jerk and you don't want to work with them, right? Keep track of all of that. Don't do anything with your initial list of 40 people until you go through the entire list for 30 days. Then I want you to look at that list and just do a gut check with yourself. Who in here has the potential for being interested in what I'm offering? Who here should I continue a conversation with? Keep those people on your list. Delete the people you don't want to work with or you're like, oh, they're not interested at all or this isn't a good fit. I learned something about them that told me they're not a good fit for what I do. Great. Take them off your list and then add more people until you're at 40 again and then just start the process over. Right. So you want to keep that list at 40. It's manageable. It's doable. It's doable. It will help you to hit that mark of 30 minutes or less a day in consistent sales activity. So. This is the most important thing I'm gonna say about all of this. Once you've done this, and because of this, your client list is full and you get busy servicing those clients, maintain the process. That's how you build a waiting list, that's how you create demand for your product and services, and that's how you ensure that you have people ready to work with you when you have the opportunity. What happens for a lot of people, whether you're in real estate or whether you're in mortgage or whether you're an insurance or whether you are a marketing consultant or a small business consultant is you do all of these great things for marketing and sales and referral generation and then you get busy and you completely stop doing any sales activities and then those client engagements end and you have to start from scratch. Keep at it. Make this a doable small chunk of your day that you can do consistently so that you always are maintaining your list of potential prospects, potential clients, and growing. And then you get to start to choose who you most want to work with. This makes it so much easier to increase your rates, to drive profitability in your business. Don't stop this just because you get busy. The other thing I want you to do, the biggest, uh, pushback I get to doing this type of sales system, super simple, is I don't need to do sales. I have a referral-based business. My clients come referrals from referrals. You know, that's awesome. Referrals are the best way to generate business and to generate sales. I love referrals. The more referrals you have, the more successful you're gonna be in business. Here's where I wanna challenge you. If your profitability and your revenue and your growth isn't where you want it to be, Referrals aren't enough. There are other things that you can be doing to grow your business strategically to be working with the people that you want to work with. So challenge yourself. Are you using, I'm in a referral based business. My business comes from referrals because it's comfortable and it's easy and it's in your comfort zone. Or are you using it because you're truly at capacity, you have a waiting list and you can't work with en enough clients that you have coming in through referrals. If that's the case, great, keep at it, right? You don't need this. But if you are not there yet and you wanna grow your business, this simple sales process will get you there very quickly. You just gotta stick with it, you gotta be consistent. S even if you get discouraged, stay with it, tweak your messaging, Get better at it and you are going to be amazed at how many clients you have and the waiting list that you have. So here's what I want you to do today. We talked about a lot of things. I talked fast. I was excited. But the number one thing I want you to do is identify what are your high value activities that you're going to do. What's your version of emails, calls, in person? Put those things on your calendar. What day of the week are you going to do them? Put them on the calendar, share in the comments below, and then if you haven't already, head on over to the mytimetoprofit.com website. Again, that's mytimetoprofit.com website. There's some sales training tools and resources in there that will help you start handpicking the clients that you wanna work with and create the plans to connect with them. And if you are watching this on the Time to Profit page, join the Time to Profit 
Facebook group. I will approve you and we will go in and do much more in depth conversations on a lot of these tools and strategies. So that's another resource for you. Stay tuned next Tuesday. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about how you can identify 40 potential dream clients and start handpicking the clients you want to work with so that when you're going through your simple sales system that you have the right people to contact with and then share your high value activities below um, and I will hold you accountable. See you next week. Thanks for joining us.